I have a bit of an issue. I'm addicted to BMWs. No surprise there. The problem, however, is I buy one, I get them all sorted out mechanically, modify them to look unique, and then I get attached. Attached to the point where I don't want to get rid of them, even if it means I'm not driving them as much. Kind of a weird thing and maybe some of you can relate. But I'm running out of room and as a content creator I have to keep moving forward with fresh and new content. In my case that means experiencing other models and so today I'll be sharing some sad news regarding three of my cars and giving you an update on the rest of my collection. All right, so we'll start off with the E46 M3. This is a car that I haven't made a video on and God knows how long. It doesn't mean I don't love the car, it's just I have to prioritize the type of content that I have for you guys. This is one of the best driver's cars that I have, one of the most fun cars to drive. It's not the fastest, but it just feels really good. It revs up pretty high. The handling is amazing, especially when you're going fast. It stays planted and it looks timeless. It gets a lot of attention, but I just haven't had the time to make videos on it. It's weird because I actually have three different parts that I bought like a year ago and I haven't installed it yet just because I just haven't had that time. I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do to the E46 M3. For the most part, the car got vinyl wrapped in this really nice matte orange color. I got a carbon fiber front lip going on here. I replaced the lens on the headlights, black kidney grills, uh, black side grills right there. Lowered the car on AST coilovers, Titan 7 fully forged wheels. Added a sidebond carbon fiber trunk. We got some kind of aftermarket but LCI style tail lights, carbon fiber rear diffuser, and we have a Rogue Engineering exhaust, which I think is one of the best ones for the E46 M3. As far as the interior of the car, pretty much did everything tastefully. I know a lot of you guys hated it because I modernized the interior. We got a custom steering wheel, got a digital cluster, we got an aftermarket head unit. Obviously this car has a manual conversion, so it is a six speed and not the SMG that this car originally was. A lot of the trims have been replaced, clips, door panels, stuff like that, everything has been addressed. As far as maintenance, anything that's normally wrong with the E46 M3 cars, uh, we have addressed rod bearings, were changed out a couple thousand miles ago. Subframe reinforcement all taken care of. The Vanos is the only thing that we haven't really addressed because it's never really given me any issues. Suspension, got AST uh, coilovers installed, all the arms. You got some adjustable cable arms in the back, all the bushings, everything's pretty much been swapped out for either better or just OEM parts. So the car rides like a dream. And honestly, like I said before, it's one of the best cars to drive. You just don't have the time to drive it. Pretty much underneath the hood, it's really nothing to see here. Like the cowl has been replaced and filters and stuff. It's kind of dusty, obviously. It's only been driven twice in the last three months, which is why I came to start the car now because of the battery shop. But it just has this aftermarket intake, which I was looking to replace, but I don't think I have, I guess, the motivation to replace it anymore. I think I'm completely done with the car, which I guess leads me to the next point. This car needs a good home with somebody that's actually gonna drive the car and enjoy it. So this is one of the three cars that I will be selling. And with all the mods, the wrap, the suspension, and all the maintenance has been done to it, six-speed manual, I think 170,000 miles, 2,200 dollars, 2,200 dollars, $22,000. So what I'm asking for this car, which I think it's a bargain for everything that it has, it's ready to go and it's reliable, $22,000 is what I'm asking for the E46 M3. If you're a serious buyer and you want more information, make sure to reach out to me on Instagram at VehicleVaros. The choice to sell it is not an easy one. Actually makes me pretty sick to my stomach thinking about it. I've been going back and forth about getting rid of it for almost a year now. And every time I get the chance to drive the car for a day or two, the experience alone convinces me to keep it. It is truly one of the best BMWs ever made. The driving experience is like no other. Let's move on to everybody's favorite car on my channel, at least I think, I know it's kind of like my favorite car. And that's the E90 335 LCI six-speed manual. Rear configuration, got the right mods, very fast, and it looks very good. As you guys can tell by the proof here, this car has been sitting for a very, very long time. Again, it's just a car that I haven't really, really been focusing on because of some of the newer projects and because of some of the delays. And because this car was smoking for a bit, I just kind of put it at the side, but it's like 
put together and ready to drive. I'm just kind of adjusting something in the engine bay, which I guess I can show you guys now. So last time you guys seen a video on this, I had purchased a Nelson Carbon beauty cover over it. Well, off camera, I have updated it. And now we went Billet VTT, which is one of the better products that they offer for the N54. This is a raw CNC machine billet. So this looks really good, I think. It matches with the Muscle Man thermostat right here. And then, of course, I added the dual catch can system from VTT with the braided lines that connect over to the top of the bob cover. Just gotta install some of the single turbo stuff, and hopefully this setup, I can eliminate that smoking issue that I was having. So today's video plug is actually my website, vehiclevars.com. If you guys are interested in modifying your BMW with some of the mods like I have on my car, like the manifold, the valve cover, the turbo system, Tune in, MHD, make sure to check us out and buy directly, help support Vehicle Virals. I'll leave a link down in the video's description. You can also get a really awesome t-shirt like this wide body F31. And we have a sale on like the rest of the older lineup that we have. So I'll leave links to that in the video's description as well. Everything's pretty much robust other than the engine. It's the only ticking time bomb, technically speaking. It has 141,000 miles and it ran 31 pounds of booze for about a year and a half before it sat down here inside of the shop. But the good thing is, guys, I am not selling the E90. This is a car that I will never be able to sell and I don't think I'm ever gonna be done modifying it because I have endless amount of ideas for this car. I'm not joking when I say I'm planning to keep this car forever. I received some insane offers for this car, upwards of $40,000, which for the E90 is a significant amount in today's market. And the funny thing is I haven't even budged. I still have so much planned for this car, both aesthetically and performance wise. Something I really want to do is take it to the track and the drag strip and really test out the upgrades on the car. I promise you will start seeing more N54 content very soon. Moving on to my wide body F30 335. I've kind of mentioned it a few times, but not really officially. This is gonna be a giveaway car, so I wanna make sure everything's dialed in. Exterior, performance, maintenance. We actually partnering up with a company that's gonna also supply us with, should I say this? It's interior from like a modern M car. And I think that's gonna really transform the look. So whoever ends up winning this car is gonna win one hell of a car, guys. Hands down, the F30 will be the biggest build I've ever done. As a person that typically likes going to OEM plus route, I decided to step out of my comfort zone and make this car highly attractive. A straight up show car that will break everyone's neck. Add the extra performance and it will simply be the perfect package for anyone. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure and do so, so you don't miss out on any of the giveaway updates. I guess this is a car that you guys really haven't heard any updates on in a while. I mean, it's because I've been working on this. It's one of the best, most affordable, top mount single turbo kits you guys can get for the F-Series N55. It's a brand new kit from a company that I won't disclose yet. That video should be out very, very soon which is gonna really match the performance with the aggressive looks of the car. Some other things I gotta do to the car as well to dial them in. Definitely tired of the BMW bolts. Definitely gotta do a stud conversion here and I'm gonna upgrade the front caliper to the F30 M Performance variation, which I recently just got painted by a body shop that was next door. I haven't really done much to the interior other than the red push start stop button. I've done the Extron's head unit, which gives you access to the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. The interior is gonna be completely revamped. Door cards, the seats, probably the center console. And I'm probably gonna try to retrofit a sporty transmission to this car so I can have the paddle shifters on the steering wheel since I already have a custom wheel. I got those paddle shifters because when I'm on manual mode, I hate to use the drive selector right here. Love the sound of the AWE exhaust that we installed into the F30. One of the best sounding exhaust systems for this N55 powered car. And I'm sure it's gonna sound absolutely epic with big turbo upgrade. I do have the GTS style smoked taillights, but they're probably not gonna be on much longer because I'm working with the company to have a new style of taillights, which is gonna look pretty freaking epic on this car. And I think a lot of you guys are gonna be excited if you own an F30. Moving on to the E60 and 5, which is an absolute piece of shit that I purchased that has a V10, it sounds amazing, it's like a unicorn. Regardless of what the E60 and 5 fanboys say, it is a tough car to maintain and keep on the road, especially high mileage, and it's been neglected with maintenance. It's actually a very interesting story. I received very bad news about this car from the seller 
uh, recently that's going to shake things up and it's made me think about legal action, something I'm also going to cover in a future video because I don't really want to talk about it right now without thinking it through. It's really, really bad news. And now this car is technically a ticking time bomb unless I address something. I'll go into detail after I talk about it with uh, some certain legal representation um, and then, yeah, I'll go over it. But rest assured, we will get this car near perfect. I am beyond excited for the future of the E60 M5 build. I've legit experienced so many smiles with this car that I'm actually kind of upset it took me this long to buy one. I mean, I was kind of scared because of all the bad press it gets online, but it no longer phases me and I am looking forward to making epic content with this legendary car for you all. I'm super stoked to like get this car looking like a straight up show car. The car has been <laughs> really good. I've actually driven it for like a week straight and the transmission still works. It still shifts properly. There's no issues. There's no faults. It still doesn't have an exhaust installed on it, which I already talked to the guys at FI. So uh, we can make this car sound absolutely epic. As far as the interior, it's actually very clean for a car that has so much miles. So I don't have to do much to it, but I might do a head unit from uh, Extrons, just like I do with every other car. So I can add some modern functionality. As far as like manual swap in the car, that's probably not how to happen. A lot of you guys are asking about it, but the SMV works. So why put work into doing the manual swap. I like it, it shifts pretty hard, gives you chiropractic sessions. Gonna address the tail lights as well. Not a big fan of these, not a big fan of tented, and uh, these are pre-LCI. Badge is pretty faded, so I'll take care of some of that stuff. Of course, the exhaust, the diffuser, but that's pretty much all the updates for the E16 5. I'm really enjoying the car, despite me getting like five miles per gallon. <laughs> that's not fun, but it is a very good sounding car. It just feels great, and I'm sure it's gonna feel a lot better once I address a lot of this maintenance stuff. Moving on to the next car, one of your favorite cars to watch on my channel based on the analytics that I can see, the F10 M5. You can probably notice that there are some things missing from the car, like the front lip is gone, the rear diffuser is also gone, and the FI exhaust is also gone. And now we have the stock OEM Akropovich titanium exhaust. In about a week, we'll have the suspension, which is the Dyn and Colover system, also removed and we'll have the stock wheels back on the M5. Which you guys are probably guessing by what I'm telling you guys, that car is also gonna be for sale and that is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. This was legit a dream car and I love everything about it. The way it drives, the power, the practicality, the traditional BMW look, the twin turbocharged V8 sound, a straight up supercar in disguise. After crashing my black one, I told myself I would finish the build, and that is exactly what I did with this one. It's tough, but it's time to move on. Yeah, this is probably gonna be the biggest surprise. Probably thought it's not a car that I would get rid of, and I wanted to make it like extremely relevant since there wasn't really a lot of content on YouTube. This car just doesn't make sense from a business perspective. The insurance is high, I really drive it. It's a very expensive car and I don't want to go all out when it comes to modifications. I did more of an OEM plus build. And as far as interior, I kept it OEM because this is a special edition, pure metal silver edition, one of 50 in the US, one of 75 in the world, I think 25 in South Africa. But it's just one of those cars that I just feel belongs with somebody else. It's gonna be fully stock. I, I figured it would be more desirable, especially for a limited car like this one. And for those of you guys that think I'm pranking you guys, here's all the proof you need. It's not the eye candy engine bay I once had with the titanium front mount intakes and the CSF charge coolers. Without the mods, I'm, I'm probably gonna ask around $60,000. If you guys are interested, at Vehicle Hours on Instagram. And if you guys are interested in all the mods that I took off, I do have them stocked inside of the shop and I can sell them to you at a very, very good price. Like I'll combo everything in to help you guys out since a lot of those parts were sponsored anyways. All right, so this next car we're gonna talk about is probably the most requested car. I'm gonna try not to laugh here because I upload literally one episode a year on it. <laughs> and it's not because I don't love the car. It's actually one of the favorite cars that I own and I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. Yeah, here's the E30. And as you get to tell, it's definitely been sitting here for a while. But recently I got a surge of motivation to start working on it again, especially because I partnered up with ECS Tuning. They supplied a lot of the parts so we can do the swap correctly and make sure we have everything covered. And I actually feel really bad. Sorry, ECS Tuning, we should have made this video 
like a year ago. I still have the parts and I'm still planning to. I'll show you guys, I guess, a glimpse of what we have on the shelf for it. Brake conversion, hub conversion, rotors, struts, actually coilovers, I forgot, ST coilovers for the car. So the E30 is gonna be a phenomenal build. I also know that there is a very dedicated community for the E30 that I really want to be a part of. And I want to be one of the very few content creators that actually shows love to this platform. So bear with me guys, I know I've said this multiple times, but we will get back on track very soon. So there's kind of something missing. I showed you guys the F10 and 5, E46, E60, F30, E90, and I talked a little bit about the G87 M2. The Supra is missing, and that's because I already sold it. The sad truth about the Supra, while it was amazing, I enjoyed every bit of it, it's just not for everyone. My goal is to get another B58 powered car, but this time in all wheel drive and with more practicality. I have a family, I have a young son, and as you can see by the rest of my cars, I like four doors. But yeah, I had to get rid of the Supra just because I needed room. Keep things fresh and original for you guys. If you guys haven't watched like the playlist on that car, I encourage you guys to do so. We made that car make over 700 horsepower. But yeah, great car. Just wasn't for me, and I'm ready to move on to something else. Let's quickly talk about the G87 M2. Not much of an update as I've been really enjoying the car in its stock configuration, plus it's a new platform. Companies are still developing aftermarket parts for it. I managed to get my hands on a few upgrades that already exist that have the same fitment as the new G80, G82, M3, and M4, and I will be filming videos on all of that. Wheels are being made, suspension is on its way, and I have a bunch of carbon bits already on hand. This being a new platform, I am super excited where this journey takes me. And despite all the controversy with this car, I made it my mission to make it desirable with all the stuff I had planned for it. Yeah, so that's pretty much an update on all my cars. I'm gonna have more content uploaded regularly coming soon. I know it's been like a few weeks and it's very uncharacteristic for my channel. Anyways, if you guys appreciate the update, make sure to hit the like button. It really does help with the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.